Believe it or not, tomorrow is the end of the Olympics. Now, if you have been following me this whole entire two weeks, you already know that I've been making as much videos as I can about the Olympics. I've been enjoying as much as I can for this past two weeks. I've seen volleyball, both indoor and beach, handball, soccer, basketball, fencing, wrestling, canoeing, jogging, running, track and field, triathlon, decathlon, swimming, equestrian, BMX, shooting, rifling, archery, what else is there? I've seen it all. And I could probably say that the Americans are the ones that are clearly on top this time. They have the most medals. They have the most gold, silver, and bronze put all together more than even China. And you know what? That's a big win. But definitely one of my top moments of this whole entire Olympics has to be watching Kerry Walsh and Misty May Trainer get their three-peat. Watching the United States soccer team for the women get their three-peat. It's just it was just surreal for me. I saw every match, every spike, every kick, every goal, and every point. And yes, I cried. I'm not afraid to show it, but I did. Yeah, I, I kind of cried on both occasions. Who did it? I mean, come on, it's the Olympics. It was pretty awesome seeing everyone do so good. I still call the Fab Five the Fab Five because they honestly do deserve it. Those other guys, I mean, it's just what well, it was a college team. And of course, last but not least, Eric Barondo. I know I said Barado last time and that was the wrong thing. But yeah, this guy is a national hero. He won a silver for his country, which is Guatemala, which is where I'm from. Sadly today, he was on the speed walking for the 50 kilometer today as well. And sadly, he got his third like red card on the 41st kilometer. Nine kilometers away. He was in second place the whole entire race. But you know what, in the end I still give this guy a round of applause because man, this guy is a hero now. And well tomorrow are the closing ceremonies. I have no idea what to expect other than the Spice Girls like performing and stuff like that. And I might cry because they are the closing ceremonies and I don't want this to finish. But yeah, let's see how that goes for me. And that brings me to the point where I ask you guys a lovely question. What are you guys looking forward to the closing ceremony? I mean, the opening ceremonies were pretty awesome. I liked them a lot. They weren't compared to like the 2008 ones. Those were amazing. So after an awesome opening ceremony, what do you guys expect with this closing ceremony right now? Leave it in the comments below. It could be whatever you guys want. It could be as drastic or crazy as you guys want. I hope you guys have been enjoying these Olympic games. I know I have. I love you guys very much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.